guys welcome back to a new vlogmas video so today i'm going to do a little pack and prep vlog we're leaving for new york tomorrow so i have to do all the things i usually do before i leave for a few days one of them being washing my hair i finally had my hair wash day i think it was two vlogs ago when i was complaining about my hair wash schedule so finally i'm clean and now i'm gonna style it so my hair will be good for the week. I wash my hair every about five days, so we're only going for three days and three nights, so my hair will be good for the trip. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Um, and then after my hair, I'm gonna pick out my outfits, start packing. I have a couple packages. I wanted to do some unboxings and hauls for some clothes that I'm bringing to New York. And other than that, nothing much really going on today. It is Sunday. So I'm also watching football. It's actually halftime right now. So I was watching the game and I didn't want to record until it was halftime. So now I have like 10 minutes to do my hair and then I'm gonna like try to watch the game and pack at the same time. So okay, I'm gonna do my hair really quick. Also, if you wanna see my full hair care routine, I showed the products I use in shower, like my shampoo and conditioner. I showed my leave-in products, I already applied them. Um, and then I also showed how I style my hair. So if you wanna see in depth my hair care routine, go check out that vlog. I can't remember which vlogmas it was, but it was maybe five or six days ago, but I'll also link it in my description. So you can check out that link. Okay, so I have two packages, one from Zara, one from H&M, and I will probably bring these things with me tomorrow. It's so funny, I think I mentioned a few vlogs ago that I hadn't shopped in Zara in one or two years, and now I'm going there a lot. Like, I went there yesterday um, when I went to the mall and I got stuff there. I got stuff like a week ago, and I ordered another package. I'm really liking um, what they have lately, but these I have had my eye on for a while and I was gonna get them like last month but I just held off but I finally decided to get it because I think it would look super cute in New York and with winter outfits and it is a pair of boots and it is these boots the dupe of the Givenchy like fold over boots and I really like these because the heel height is not too high I think it's only like 2.8 inches so I yeah have had my eye on these for a long time and I think I could wear this with a dress and some tights and it'll be a cute nighttime look. I also was gonna buy the Macy's version of this because Macy's has a pair of boots like this and it's from the INC line, like ink or yeah, I think it's INC. And that one is $10 cheaper than the Zara ones. They look pretty much the same. So I was gonna actually buy those too, but they were sold out of my size. So if you want a boot like this and you wanna save $10, I'll link the Macy's one too. But I'm just so obsessed with this style. I feel like this isn't for everyone, but I watch videos of people trying them on and they just look so cute. So that's the only thing I got from Zara and I'm excited to style these with a dress in New York. And then from H&M, I only got two things. Okay, the first thing I got is just a little accessory. It's another faux fur item. I've been really into faux furs. I showed those headbands that I got from Amazon yesterday and so this is a little white furry bucket hat. I think this was like $15 at H&M. Oh my god. It's so comfy and soft. I am definitely bringing this to New York and that's so cute. I love the color of this. I have this in black too but it's from the one I have is from Princess Polly. So I wanted a white one because I think it'll look cute in the snow too. And I mentioned, but um, we're going to Chicago also in February, so I have like two winter trips coming up. So I didn't just get all this for New York, I got some of this stuff for Chicago too. And then the last thing I got from H&M, this is the big item piece, it's another faux fur jacket. So I'm going to have a lot of coats to bring with me to New York. And the reason I bring so many clothes with me when I travel is because... I'm a content creator and I like to take photos of my outfits and not just to post 
like during my trip but I like to kind of take a lot of photos so that I can have it for weeks out so that you know I can like get all my content in a few days and then that way I don't have to take photos later on do you know what I mean like I have it to spread out the next few weeks so I plan on taking a lot of outfit photos and making a lot of outfit changes oh man this is adorable holy how bougie is this I really liked it for the color and the length of it and it just looks so luxurious but this is faux fur and I think this was like a hundred and something dollars these faux furs are really pricey but I love it so I'm gonna now figure out my outfits I wrote down a list where's my phone I am super organized when it comes to traveling in terms of I'm very detailed when I plan things so like I planned the itinerary I don't really want to show too much because I won't be sharing the hotel that we're staying at until um, we leave but like I wrote down the timestamps of everything when we arrive when we're checking in the different sightseeing things I want to do um, after our trip when we're back home I can share this itinerary um, I'll probably share it on my Instagram story and then also here on YouTube like I can write it in the description um, but for now I won't really share anything just for safety reasons um, and then the other thing I planned out was my New York outfits and I have them by each day so like day one day two day three and I literally have every outfit down to our bus ride there because we're taking the bus and we're taking the jet I don't think I mentioned that yet but we took the jet last year and the jet is this luxury charter bus that only goes between New York and DC it goes from Metro Center to Hudson Yards and vice versa so we took it last year for the first time and it was an amazing experience like the most comfortable travel experience of my life way better than plane than any other bus than car like such a, an amazing travel experience I wish they went all over the country because I would just take the bus everywhere in the country. But um, I worked with them last year and I actually reached out to them a few months ago asking if they were interested in working together again and they responded and said yes they were. So um, yeah, I am partnering with them to promote their ride, uh, their you know experience and I'm really excited because it was such an enjoyable trip. So um, I really hate traveling, like just the getting there part I don't like. Um, I hate airports. I hate taking the plane anywhere because I hate, you know, the travel, the TSA, the checking in, just the amount of time and the waiting and I don't know. I just feel like it's all such an inconvenience. I don't mind car, car, like road tripping. That's the one thing I don't mind because that's a lot easier. Um, but even that, I just don't like long car rides. I think my maximum is three hours. Um, and after that, I just get so like antsy. But with the jet, honestly, it's... It feels like I'm on that bus for only an hour when it's really a four hour drive and it is just so comfortable. So if you're in the New York area or DC area and you wanna go to either city, I highly, highly recommend. And it's just such a great experience. So I'm gonna document everything. If you watched last year's Vlogmas, you kind of saw already what that was like. But anyway, yeah, so I'm very detailed with my trip and I don't expect to stick to a very strict schedule, but I just kind of ha like to have a guide, you know, so we're not sitting around thinking, okay, what should we do today? Where should we go right now? Like, I want to be able to have options and, you know, um, ideas so that we're not just kind of sitting there clueless on what to do. So that's the reason why I put itineraries together. And the same goes for why I put my outfit ideas together, because I don't want to sit in my hotel and just like stare at my suitcase and just think what do I wear what do I wear like I don't want to waste time planning my outfits there I just want to do it now so when we're there I can just get dressed get ready to go and you know because we're going to probably be doing a lot and probably we're going to be on the move a lot and I don't want to waste time picking out outfits so that's what I'm going to do right now I have the majority of my clothes like laying there on the floor. A lot of those are the clothes that I showed you guys in my uh, holiday outfit, uh, holiday party outfit idea video. And a lot of them are from NAKD. So I already tried everything on and I've already written down the kind of ideas of outfits I wanna put together for each day, for each occasion. I have a nighttime outfit for each night. I have a daytime outfit for when we go sightseeing and all that. And I just kinda like wrote down the details like you know, what jacket I want to wear, what top, what pants, what shoes, what accessories, what purse, like down to the very last detail. But anyway, I'm excited to kind of put all these things together. And don't judge me, I'm bringing two suitcases with me. Furs take up a lot of room. So like, I'm going to have just one suitcase of coats and jackets. 
I'm so happy bucket hats are making a comeback because I used to wear bucket hats all the time when I was a kid. Okay, I digress. Here we go. We're going to pack now. So I have this suitcase. This is a medium-sized suitcase, and this came in a set of three. It came with the large one, which actually broke. Um, I brought it to Mexico a few years ago, and it just completely shattered, so I had to throw that one away. But it also came with a medium, and then it came with a smaller carry-on size. It's inside here. So I'm going to bring both of these, this medium-sized one. Oh, my God, is the sun coming out? It's so gloomy today. Like, it's been so gloomy every Sunday in December, I swear. So, yeah, I have the smaller one, too. So, I mean, I'm going to attempt to fit everything just in this medium-sized one, but I don't think that's going to happen. And this suitcase set, I got this from Overstock in 2019. And last time I checked, it wasn't available anymore. But the brand, just in case you want to find it, it's called Gabbiano. Um, so yeah, Gabbiano is the name of the brand if you want to maybe find it online, but it's not available at Overstock anymore. Or maybe it is. I haven't checked in a few months. I'll check again and link it if it is available. I'm just trying on my outfits now and narrowing everything down. So this is going to be one of the outfits, these black pants and then the crop tweed jacket that I got from Run the Runway that I showed you guys. I'm so obsessed with this. I feel like this would be a cute, maybe a nighttime outfit with my... Dior pumps super cute and flirty so yes I am just finalizing and trying on everything and then I'm almost done I have a few outfits picked out and then I'll just pack everything away it just makes traveling so much more easier just picking out my outfits and trying them on so that I don't have to be frustrated when I'm there all right got all of my outfits picked out I took photos of each pile and then I also took selfies of myself wearing the outfit so that when I'm there I can just look at my phone for reference but yeah I'm gonna pack everything now and these are all like my nice outfits I also I'm gonna pack like leggings and t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff but um, I got my nice going out outfits so yes now we have to pack everything Okay, the most important thing that I always have to pack with me when I go anywhere are my supplements and my vitamins and my medicines. So I'm gonna just put everything in this little makeup bag. Right now I have my inhaler, this um, white flower, and then I have some floss. So now I'm going to bring a, probably three packets or four, because we'll be there for four days, of my AG1 greens, the ones I drink every day. They also make these individual packets, which are so amazing for travel. And this one comes with 30 individual packs, and they just look like that. And really easy to bring with you, one, two, three, four. So I'll bring four, and I'll drink that with some water every morning. And then other little supplements I'm gonna bring 
one, two, three, probably three of the Symbiotica Glutathione. I love these, they're so great for traveling because they're so slim. And then I'll bring maybe, maybe just like two of the elderberries. I probably don't need it, but my immune system could always use a boost when I'm traveling. And then the activated charcoal, this helps with digestion and daily detox. And we're gonna be going to dinner. I'm gonna probably have, you know, some drinks at dinner. So definitely gonna need those. Okay, and then let's bring some uh, liquid IVs for hydration. I have this little vial that I usually would put my seed um, probiotic symbiotic in here, but I have ibuprofen in here instead. So we have our painkiller. I'm bringing allergy medicine because we have pretty bad allergies, so just in case. And then some Tums for <laughs> obvious reasons. And I just have a bunch of little things, just some hauls for our throat in case. Everything's always just an in case. Half the time, I don't use any of these things that I bring except for my like vitamins and supplements. This is always just for in case. Okay, I'll bring a couple of Pepsids little travel size pepsids i'll bring a couple of the alka seltzer um hangover relief because like i said probably gonna have you know a nightcap or two out at dinner and then i do have emergency but since i'm bringing the elderberry i probably don't need this maybe i'll just bring one and that's it that is all i am bringing for my vitamins and wellness and medicine oh and band-aids yeah cannot forget band-aids i'll just bring like Hi guys, it is a few hours later. I am all done packing and it took me quite a long time It took me like the whole day mainly because I am a perfectionist and wanted to make sure I had all of my outfits and I wanted to make sure I brought everything with me. I Require a lot of things. So yeah, it took me a while to pack but we're all done. I'm relaxing now I have some chickpeas in the air fryer. I make my own um, chickpeas, like, you know, the crunchy snack chickpeas. I rinse and peel them. I put them in the air fryer and I season with salt, pepper, and onion powder, and they're so good. They're our favorite healthy snack. So I am making some so we could bring some with us on the road tomorrow. So anyway, I wanted to do a little what's in my travel bag. I've been meaning to do a what's in my bag in general, like my everyday bag. I've been meaning to do one during Vlogmas and I was gonna do a whole separate video but I just figured I can show you what is in my bag and more specifically what's in my travel I guess carry-on bag even though I'm not flying but this is like my road trip bag I guess you could say so I'm bringing my Pauline sign bag I love this bag I actually do use this as my everyday bag but I just organize it a little bit better to carry all my travel essentials and these are just the things I'm gonna have with me on the bus because um, most things I packed away in my suitcases that will be you know like under the bus so these are just the things that you know are my necessities and I'll have with me while we are riding on the bus so I'm gonna bring my hydro flask hopefully they have some water fill-in stations I feel like they might not I don't see many of that in hotels but maybe they'll have a little filter um, sometimes the lobbies have those little like lemon lime water filters I can just fill my jug up so I got that and then the main thing in here you guys saw me load up my medicine supplement vitamins bag I have to keep this with me on the bus just in case I need anything like the band-aids or my inhaler this is a little baseball cap I'm gonna bring with me I'll probably wear this with my outfit tomorrow um, this is from what do you call this sporty sporty and rich I really like this brand I like the font it says New York Health Club I have a bunch of body products I have um, this CeraVe healing ointment. I love this stuff. Um, I always use this for my dry hands. I actually need some right now. My Aquaphor lip balm. Well, it's not a lip balm. It's just a um, balm stick, healing balm stick, but I use this for my lips. I have a body spray in here. My favorite one from Sol de Janeiro. Hand sanitizer, a couple hand sanitizers, a um, Touchland one, and then just a regular Purell one. And then I have my sunglasses. These are the ones that I'm Renting from Rent the Runway. So obsessed with this style. And I also have my prescription sunglasses, just in case I don't feel like wearing contacts. I also packed contacts. So on the days when I wear my contacts, I can wear those Marc Jacobs sunglasses. But then on the days when I don't feel like putting on contacts, I'll wear these because these are prescription sunnies. And these are from Yes Glasses, the same place that I got my clear glasses and pretty much all my glasses. These are from Yes Glasses. I have some snacks. <laughs> these little fruit 
strips from Target. I love these. They're so yummy. They have snacks on the bus, but just in case we don't like anything. Anto can't really have a lot of snacks. He likes these, so those will probably just be for him. And then I brought a couple of eye masks. Maybe I'll do a little eye mask on the bus or just in case I feel like my eyes need a little pick-me-up. And then I'm going to bring two pairs of glasses. I always bring two pairs with me just in case I lose one, which is literally what happened when I went on my last trip. So hopefully I don't lose these again because I lost these clear glasses last time I traveled. But I'm going to bring uh, these glasses. I'll probably wear these tomorrow when we travel. And then I'll pack these with me in my bag. I have my other new glasses that I got from Yes Glasses. Okay, this next thing is the coolest thing ever. This is from Amazon. It looks so cute. This is a little... Um, what do you call it lint roller but what's cool about this is it is washable and reusable okay so you just open it this is what the roller looks like it's like this clear kind of I don't even know what this is like it's really soft so basically it you know removes the lint off of your clothes and it's a lint roller and you can wash this and it will clean all the lint off of the roller so you can reuse it many times so I love this so much better than a normal lint roller just because it's reusable and you know I don't have to worry about the paper running out and it's just such a cute little compact thing so yeah I just picked this up from Amazon it was 10 bucks I'll link this in my description um, I just have a pen in case I need a pen and then the Pauline bag came with this little uh, what do you call it cosmetic bag so I have just a bunch of stuff in here I have a lot of lip products and makeup I have the compact mirror this one is cool from Kopari actually I don't think it's working because I have to charge it. It's an LED light. Like, you press it and it's supposed to light up, but I have to charge it. I haven't charged it in a long time, so it's not lit up right now. I have lots of lip products. Why do I have so many lip products? I don't think I need to bring that. Um, I have this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is my favorite shade. Uh, it's in the shade Vanilla Beige. And then I have my Dior Glow Oil. This is in Cherry Oil. And then I have a little perfume. This is Victor and Rolf. Flower bomb. I love that scent. And then, God, so many lip products. I don't know why I need all this. Okay, this one is the Road Lip Treatment. I love it. But I do love all these lip products. So, this is just a regular chapstick. The packaging has got so messed up. I don't know how. But this is from uh, La Roche Posay. It's just a lip balm. So, I use that. And then my Merit's uh, Tinted Lip Oil. I like this because it adds color to my lip. Um, but a very natural color so on my no makeup day looks I like to wear this so um, if I feel like my lips are dull and need some color I will apply that um, I have a couple lip liners these should be my makeup bag I don't know why these are here but I have a couple lip liners um, I have a little cloth to clean my glasses I have a hair tie I have another white flower I love the white flower um, it's an Asian product I don't know how many people know what white flower is it's big in the Philippines and all Filipinos have a white flower on them all the time. I use this for when I get motion sickness or nauseous or when I get anxiety or panic attacks. Um, I smell it or I kind of like dabble it a little bit and put some in my nose, like on my temples and it really helps relax me. It really helps like shock your nervous system and kind of like relax you a little bit. It's kind of like pepper peppermint, um, very minty. I don't know how to like describe it. It's kind of like a pepperminty vix. If that makes sense so I have a huge one and then I have a little tiny baby one this one I'll probably bring with me like when we go to dinners and I have a small purse or a small clutch bag this is the one I'll bring with me okay and then I have a tampon even though I just finished my period but you never know I don't know and then I have a lipstick from Mac this is in the shade C sheer 520 I got this in my Mac advent calendar such a pretty color and that's all that is in my travel bag the only thing I need to pack uh, tomorrow morning is my laptop. I'm gonna be, you know, editing on the bus and uh, editing Vlogmas videos. My laptop, my phone charger, my AirPods, and I think that's it. And then a couple of hair products that I'm gonna use in the morning when I wake up. Other than that, I'm all set. I mean, it's gonna be a short trip, but this is just how I am. It could be the shortest trip, you know, just a day, and I will pack exactly like this. Maybe not as many clothes, but I just like to have so many of these essentials with me because it just gives me peace of mind and I like having everything because you never know what someone will need you never know if someone will need a band-aid or if someone will need I don't know Advil whatever and it's funny I'm watching Home Alone I just paused it to film this part but I was watching Home Alone while I was finishing up my uh, cleaning and errands and beginning of the movie when they're like rushing and running out of the house 
and also the night before when they were like running around trying to like get everything together I could never if I had to rush in the morning like if I was running late for my flight the whole trip would be ruined for me I just know I would forget something and I would just be freaked out bag is looking cute I'm so excited. So um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to finish watching Home Alone, get ready for bed, drink some tea, um, and probably go to bed early. I'm waking up tomorrow around 7.30. Our bus leaves at 10, but we're going to drive into, into the city, into D.C., and it will probably be traffic because it's Monday morning and everyone will be going to work. And I want to get there early because I have to take photos and capture content of the bus itself since I am working with them to promote uh, the bus. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you are looking forward to the New York vlogs. So you can stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'll vlog everything of the trip, everything we do, everywhere we go. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. Christmas in New York is the best. So much fun. So yes, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you.